Good day everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an involute gear, which is this type of gear here. This type of gear meshes well together, and this is what it looks like. So here is an assembly view of, um, of the two gear, and as you can see, I'm going to zoom in here and switch to front view. As you can see, they mesh well together and uh, the key is to work out the calculation and to, to figure out how to draw it accurately. So we're going to calculate um, the shapes and draw it out and also assembling it together so I'll also be covering assembly as well how to assemble gears and use mechanism to animate the gear so we're gonna get started right now okay so click a new file and we'll start by creating a part just name it gear 1 click OK the first thing we'll do is we'll switch to Go prepare, file prepare, model properties and change it to millimeters and press set. So I'm going to work with metric measurements and we'll turn on the planes. Alright, so we're going to start by drawing the, the shapes. So just go to sketch, click the plane, click sketch, click this button here to bring the flat view forward. All right. Okay, we're gonna go over to this word document. So basically, to draw gears, there are a range of formulas that you're gonna follow. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to use the formulas. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit confusing and it's a lot of little details you gotta figure it out. But I've gone through and figured that out, and um show it to you so um, I can't seem to find any tutorial that shows you how to go through this so you can create your own gear and uh, maybe you can laser cut out and make your own gear system but uh, we're gonna get started straight away so the first step usually is you gotta pick a pitch diameter of the circle so you gotta draw four main circle for your gear, the pitch diameter is should be the second largest diameter. So, and you need to pick that. There's a on the chart system here. It will tell you formulas for that. But sometimes you can just pick pick a um, dimension. So it's good to write it down. We give it a pitch diameter of pitch diameter is a D, and we'll chose D equals 40, 40 mil and you can also choose the number of teeth as well so these things you can use a formula to number of teeth is here, number of teeth is N, you can work out by using this formula but you can just choose it, choose it to work that way. So chosen n equals 21. And next is the uh, diametral pitch. This is, I'll show you what this is. It's not the diameter of a circle. You look here closely, the definition of diametrical pitch is the number of teeth given per inch of a gear's pitch diameter. The diametrical pitch is the most common method of classifying gears. So it's basically the number of teeth per inch or millimeters depends on what measurement you're working with. And this time for that we're going to use the formulas. So if you look over here, diametrical pitch is the first thing. It um, If you have the number of teeth and pitch that I know you can work that out. So we're going to use P equals n over d which is the formula we know that n is 21 teeth and over d which is 40 pitch diameter 
and we we'll work that out and it should be p make a new line p equals 0.525 so i've done that already so it should be already there next we're gonna do calculate the base circle diameter base diameter is db so we have a look at so we have the pitch diameter the base diameter is the next smaller circle so it should be the third um what do you call that so it should be the last circle the next smaller circle and the the second so it's basically the the base circle is the the one bit, um after the pitch diameter so the equation for that base circle diameter is right here so it is diameter base diameter equals d times cos with the angle of um, the pitch angle pitch angle is usually 20 so i'll just write that down first so db equals d cos pitch angle pa this is usually 20 degrees or 14 point something but uh, so just usually use 20 for this so it depends on the type of gear you use there's two standard angles that you use so um, you can do a bit of research on that but I'm just gonna pick 20 there db equals 37.5877 now we're gonna move on to the next circle which is the outside diameter which is the outer diameter of this circle so we write that down it will be do this time and now we will work out the equation outside the diameter on this formula is that's a root diameter outside diameter is do and it equals d plus 2a okay so there it's do equals d plus 2a equals okay from this point we don't know what a is a is the addendum a addendum is right here it's i'm just zooming it's the length from the outer circle to the pitch diameter circle so i'll just quickly do that as well so then a so to do that the formula is a equals small a equals one over p capital p we know that p is where is p which is a diametrical pitch pitch is we got that here so we simply just put in the information 525 and it should equal 1.9048 i'll just make that 114 okay we're gonna move on so now we can put that information here to work that out so we know that d is 40 plus 2 and the addendum which is 1.9048 and if you put that in the calculator it will be 43.8096 so we've got our outside diameter and now we're going to find the last circle so which is root diameter okay to find that what we're going to do is okay so we we'll write root diameter which is dr the root diameter formula is i will bring this down so here so dr equals d minus 2b so we'll make a new we we'll write that down 
dr equals d minus 2b equals 40 minus 2b. We don't know what b is, so we've got to find that out. So b is the dedendum. Dedendum is the bottom part of the gear teeth. So right here. So it is from the pitch circle to the root circle. So we just got to use the formula and find that out. The dedendum is... Okay, where is it? So it's right here. B equals HT minus A. Okay, so this one's a bit tricky. Alright, so we're going to find out two more formula. Dedendum. Okay, dedendum B. So B equals HT. We just use small minus the addendum and that equals um, HT. HT is what we don't know yet. So we're going to go one more step down, find that out as well. H is whole depth. HT. Okay, so whole depth is right here. Whole depth is the depth of the teeth, and there's two types. It's basically, you're going to use one of these formulas. Um, we're going to use the bottom one. I'm not sure exactly why, but that seemed to work at the moment. But basically, the formula for that is HT equals 2.157 over P. So we know what P is. P is, which is point. 525 so basically just put that in 57 and we'll find out that will equal 4.1086 alright so we have our HC now and we'll put that here and that will minus A which is the denim we have that here as well 1.9048 and that'll give us an answer for the B, the dedendum, which is B, so 2.2038. So once we have that, we can finally find out root diameter, which is 40 minus 2 times the dedendum, which is 2.2038. With that there, we'll find the answer, which is 35.5924. So there you go, you have our four circle. I'll just highlight that. I'll just highlight yellow. So we have the root circle, base circle, pitch diameter, and outside diameter circle. So with that there, we can start drawing on Creo. So I'll open this one up. Okay, so basically just draw a full circle for now. Pitch the amino, which is 40 mil. We'll put 40. Next one is base circle. Base circle is 37.5877. Next is the outside amino, and that is. 43.8096 and the last one which is the root diameter which is the inside circle that is 35.5924 and we'll accept that so that's the first step is in calculating the drawing the four foundation circle for us to draw the teeth, calculate the envelope teeth. I'm going to stop the video there. We'll continue on the next video. Make sure you subscribe, like my video and leave a comment if you find this useful and support my channel. Thanks for watching. See you everybody.